Hey there, it is Paula G and I want to come to you today to talk about why websites cost so darn much. Like why do projects take so much longer, cost so much more than you think that they should? And so with that, I invite people, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an Ask Me Anything series here over the next week of if you've got a website question, you've got a challenge, I want to hear from you. And I'm going to post the dates at the top of this page so that you can make a little note in your calendar and come alive. But suffice it to say, I have been doing websites since 1995. Yes, like since practically websites existed and the only thing was text and the occasional flashing GIF file. Well, whether it's an individual business owner or a multinational corporation, the two main reasons that things fall apart is one, insufficient planning, meaning like I have this vague idea of what I want and I've got this pie in the sky idea of what would be nice, but we never actually sit down and ground it in some reality of like, what do we want to have? Why do we want to have it? What do we need it to do? Second reason is the copy never gets written. People can't make decisions. People don't sit down and actually write the copy for their website. Instead of spending an hour and taking care of something that could bring them clients later, you sit down, you feel a little uncomfortable, you start um, trying to write your website copy, and you think, this is uncomfortable, I don't know what to say, I have writer's block, oh, let me go look on Facebook, oh, let me go look on Twitter, and then you fritter away an hour and you wonder why you think you've worked an hour, but you haven't. Well, I want to help you solve all that because it pains me. I watch this happen with my website clients where... We're supposed to launch a website and four months later, we still ha don't have it watch launched because somebody can't make up their mind. They can't sit down and write the content. They're stuck. They're stuck and they're unwilling to take that one little step or ask for help to get unstuck. Well, that drives me nuts and I'm tired of seeing business owners torture themselves. So on January 23rd, I'm hosting a website planning day, very inexpensive, high value day where you can bring your challenge your thing that's been sitting on your to-do list because your website's you're starting to feel embarrassed by the thing it looks like maybe it, an old blue leisure suit or maybe the content is like three years old and you're like oh my god this stuff isn't even accurate anymore well it's turning away your prospects because your pro your website is their their window into your world of your business uh, so I don't want you to be tortured by that anymore. So we're going to get together virtually, very, very small group. Only eight people are going to be allowed in this virtual group. And we're going to get it done. So there'll be some teaching. I'll be there to answer questions and to guide you and to help. But the focus of this day is going to be you getting stuff done, getting the focus time, the support, the expert help, the moral support, so that you walk away from the day with, a, with what you needed to get done off your list, whether that's rewriting your homepage, adding images, doing some planning for an upcoming website project, whatever it is, we're going to take care of it. So with that, I invite you to check it out because, again, slots are starting to fill, and I am almost certain that this will fill up quickly. So if you go to the apologycompany.com forward slash website dash planning dash day, uh, that's where you can get more specifics and get registered. Uh, and again, check the comments here and the top of the page as I'm going to be doing uh, leading up to this day because there's lots of questions coming in. Um, I'm going to be doing some Ask Me Anything and I'd love to have you come join me live and ask your question. I'll help you right here, right now. Why wait till later? So look for those dates. They'll be starting and every day next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And uh, I want to help you out that way. So with that, I'm here to tell you that it's okay. It's okay for it to not be fun sometimes, but you can get it done in a fun way and in a way that really, really helps your business so that you can free yourself up for more playtime. No more torture over this. I'll see you next time and uh, create a great day.